For the last two years, Philip Vitrano has been carrying the painful memories of discovering his daughter's body. 30 year old Karina Vitrano had been savagely beaten. Today, the 62 year old father took the stand in the murder trial of suspect Channel Lewis, describing details and decisions that will haunt him for the rest of his life. Around 5 30 on that August afternoon in 2016, Vitrano says Karina asked him to go running with her in Spring Creek Park in Howard Beach, Queens, as they often did together. Together, but he couldn't because his back hurt. He recalled their last conversation, telling Karina, I don't think it's a good idea. But she said, Don't worry, Daddy, I'll be okay. He hesitantly let her go. About 45 minutes after she left, Vetrano says, Something came over me and I felt like something was wrong. He called her phone several times, leaving a voicemail screaming, Karina, where the are you? Vetrano called an NYPD friend who initiated the massive search for Karina. He described finally finding her body. I let out this sound I never made before. It was a wail. My baby, my baby. She was on her stomach. Her right arm was under her body, her left arm at her side, her legs in a running position, her head tilted back to the side. I picked her up, grabbed her. Her back was up against my chest. Her chest was warm. Her back was cool. I knew by looking at her, she was dead. Vetrano sobbed openly in court after seeing police crime scene photos of his daughter. Her clothes pulled off and body covered in dirt and blood, pictures he'd never seen before. He recalled being escorted away by police after finding Karina and crying, I have to take her home, I have to take her home. He returned home alone to break the devastating news to his wife, Kathy. She was sitting on the stoop, he said. I put my arm around her. I didn't say anything. She knew. It was heartbreaking to witness the Vetrano family shielding their faces and crying as disturbing crime scene photos were presented. Philip Vetrano finished his testimony and will sit in the gallery with his family for the rest of the trial. In Kew Gardens, Queens, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And today the defense tried to discredit the NYPD crime scene investigators by introducing scenarios where evidence collectors could have made mistakes.